YouTube, we're back with another poster design process for you today. It's for Kalani Races and it's this bike poster I've made. Let me walk you through all the little tips and tricks I've taken to create this. Let's jump straight into Photoshop. Okay, so jumping into Photoshop here, this is the original file. Now in creating this the first time, there was a lot of trial and error with layers and placements and the gradient maps especially to get the color right. So I'm just gonna walk you through these steps a little bit slowly so that you can get them right yourself. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna paste this image in here. This is the first image I'm using. And now you can see it's quite zoomed out. So I'm just gonna increase the scale of this one. So from the reference, you can see the kind of middle image is more like the bike details. The top is more of the, the racer's face and helmet. And then the bottom is a more zoomed out image. First one I'm going to make is I'm going to make the, the middle section with the bike details. So I'm just going to scale it to about, about here and shift that up a little bit. Now using the same image, what I'm going to do is use the rectangular marquee tool here. And I'm going to select the bottom half and I'm going to create a mask here. Now I'm going to duplicate that same image and get rid of the mask and drag it under so that now I can shift this around. And what I'll do is I will hold shift to keep it on the same line. And then I'm gonna use option to increase the size and keep it centered. Then I want the helmet off to the right, maybe even a little bit bigger here. And I will say that's good just about there. Okay, now just to fill out this bottom half of the image, you can see this more zoomed out photo of the biker here. So let me just paste that one in. Now I'm gonna drag this down and using layer modes, so I do not have to create this mask here because the backgrounds are similar colors. It's a lot easier to use the layer modes here. So let me just select this and I'm gonna come down to exclusion and it kind of creates this middle section by itself as well. So let me just try and make this centered. I'm just gonna get this placement where I like it. Maybe zoom it in a little bit there and there we go. Now I'm gonna drop this down to 70%. Now this will make more sense once I come into the gradient maps. So let me just throw one of them in first. So I'm gonna add a gradient map here under adjustments and make sure that this gradient icon is selected. Now for this first one, because we're gonna be using two, I want to have black for the low ends and black for the high ends as well, and then white for the mids. Now, this is just for contrast. For when I come in to add the separate color, when I add the red, this will make more sense. But what I want to do is just set this as a base to start with, and then we're gonna come back and adjust this so that we can get the color right. So let me just add in a second gradient map layer here. So I'm gonna come down to adjustments again, come on gradient map, double click this icon. And then I'm gonna keep these where they are, add in a red in the center, I'm gonna say about here. These are all adjustable. So you can come back and change these how you like, pick your own colors. Now I'm just gonna drag this black in and drag this white in as well. Now this is just gonna highlight the mid tones as red. So now if I come off okay and I select this layer mode on this gradient map as color, then you can see the effect that it's creating here. So now, this isn't the exact same, you can see straight away. But what I'm gonna do is just use the sliders here to play around with it. So if we come onto the first gradient map, you can see as I drag the white slider, it's gonna be the thing that creates the most difference here. But what I'm ideally aiming for is these areas at the top, this kind of white patch here, and this white wall behind the biker to be a bit more solid white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another white to fill in more area. And you can see immediately, it's coming a lot closer to the original image. So once I've adjusted them a little bit, I'm just gonna select okay and I'm gonna come back onto the second gradient map. And this is all trial and error here. So if you just shift the low end color, this black, it can increase and decrease the contrast between the red and the black areas. You can shift the red, you can see what kind of areas it's gonna, it's gonna highlight and then move the white in to see how much red is actually revealed. You can see, let's say this kind of faint area of red down here, if I, drag the white together to increase the contrast behind it, it's gonna get rid of those faint areas. So you wanna find the right balance of what you're going for. Now I think for now that's good. Let me just come back to the original. Uh, it seems there's a bit more like the dark ends. So you can see like on the visor and the shoulders here and the same with the body, they're a lot darker. So what I'm gonna do is come back onto that first gradient map and then the low ends that are dark, I'm just gonna drag this in. And you can see immediately like how much darker this is getting already. So this is the kind of area that I'm gonna fix with contrast. So let me drag this white in. That's looking a little bit more like the original. Collapse this black a little bit closer. I'm gonna settle with it about there. And then just once again, just come back onto the second one, shift these sliders just to adjust it for the new placement. And there we go, I'm happy with this color right here. Now, the only difference I'm seeing here is there's this weird kind of overlay line over where I've masked the, where the, no, the top of this image is protruding over the mask here. So what I'm gonna do is select this layer, which is the bottom one, create a mask here, and then select a black brush and just drag over the top of this line here. Now you can play around by using white brushes and black brushes just to blend it how you like it. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. 
I kind of want to make it look a little bit natural with how it's blended rather than there being this kind of harsh line here. So you can just tap that out and there we go, I'm happy with that. Okay, now that we're happy with the color and the placement images here, what I'm just gonna do is add in the text now. So if I just select the text tool with T, I'm just gonna type in Kalani here. And this is using again Helvetica now, uh, the black variant. And I'm just gonna hold option to increase this. I'm just gonna line this across the top. What I might do is add in some grid lines just to make it perfectly placed. So I'm gonna come down to view, guides, and then new guide layout. I'm gonna use these presets here and then just drag this top corner of the K into the blue grid lines. I'll say this text is okay. I'm gonna add in the separate little subtitle, which is just Cape Town. Just simply format this here and I'm gonna drop the weight down two levels. I'm gonna put this on bold. And then a, a good tip for sizing your text if you're struggling between like with your hierarchy from headlines to subtitles, what you wanna do is come on to the point value and divide this by 1.618, which is the golden ratio. And now, for example here, that's gonna be a great subtitle size now. And if you wanted to come down a little bit more, highlight it all, repeat the same, divide it by 1.618. And this is gonna be a great way to balance your text with a hierarchy. So here, I'm just gonna drag this over and I'm gonna put this on two lines. Just to line that with the bottom of the Y. And there we go. Uh, now we can just move on to texturing. A lot of the theme of this is movement and there's a lot of horizontal lines. So I think a copy scan texture works really well here where you can see the scan lines moving horizontally across this page. So I'm just gonna drag one of these in just increase this to cover it and I'm gonna select the first one, their layer mode to lighter color. Now, this is a really nice effect and what it does is it creates, it takes all of these really dark areas like the black ends and the low ends and makes them slightly more gray with this grainy texture over it. And now, as you can see a lot more of the texture poking through on the dark colors, I want it to come through similarly on the light areas. So I'm gonna use Command J to duplicate this layer, change this layer mode to exclusion. And then you can see already it brings through a lot more texture in the light areas of the piece, but I'm gonna drop this opacity to about 15 so that it's a little bit less present. And there we go. Now that you've got your textures over, this piece is so near done now, I'm just gonna add in a few text effects. This is a point where throughout the whole time you can come back to these gradient maps, you can adjust the color. Uh, you can play around with it now that there's textures added. You can see how it looks with and without. Drag the sliders around, see if you wanna change anything. So I'm just gonna make some small adjustments. And there we go, that is our texture done. I've just resized the text similarly to the original reference image. I'm just gonna show you how I've created this kind of overlay here. You can see here in this reference, there's almost this really subtle kind of ink bleed effect around the edge of the text. So I'm just gonna show you how I've added that. And I'll do this in two steps. You wanna use the stroke tool on effects and you wanna add maybe a one or two pixel stroke on the outside. Now this kind of rounds the edges, uh, creating this kind of leaky look. And then the second is an outer glow, which mimics the same kind of thing. And you can see now it's, it's, very, it's very similar to a drop shadow but because it's so compressed in near the letters, it kind of looks like it's leaking out the sides. I'm just gonna press okay on that. And I'm gonna copy this layer style and paste it over to the Cape Town layer. Now, just to create a similar effect to this kind of like cloud overlay, I'm going to select the Killini text layer, come down to effects and then blending options. Now this blend if function is gonna be the one we wanna use. So this is gonna hide and reveal dark and light values on the layers above and below the text. So here, as I drag in this white slider, then the white values behind the layer that is selected are gonna show through. So you can see now the text is completely hidden. If I drag it from the other end, because the text is the darker value, you can see now as it gets to the dark colors in the background, it brings it through. So what I wanna do here is just split these sliders using option and drag them in. And you can see it's a bit more of a subtle range and you can place these where you want them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that in slightly to about there. And you can increase and decrease this as you want. And I'm gonna settle about there. And there we go. Now these sliders are always editable. So as soon as you press okay, you can double click on this little icon here, come back and just play around with them some more. And there we go. That is the final poster complete. YouTube, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you sticking around till the end. I'm glad I could be of help to you. Please let me know in the comments what you wanna see next. And I will see you very soon. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>